Small business owners and individuals tend to get confused with the difference between Gmail and G Suite and understanding which option is best for business related activities. Hey team, welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos then my name's Stuart, thanks for being here. Now in today's video I'm going to break down and compare both Gmail and G Suite for small business and help you decide on the best option for your business related activities. Now the biggest difference is that Gmail is a completely free email service and on the other hand we have G Suite which is a paid email service. However, depending on your business requirements, you might be able to get away with just using a free Gmail over paying for G Suite. Now, both Gmail and G Suite share similarities and differences, which we're going to dive into and help you understand shortly. Now, before we get started, and if you haven't yet subscribed, consider doing so, and that way you'll stay updated with weekly actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's break down both Gmail and G Suite and help you decide on the best option for you. Okay, so in essence, both Gmail and G Suite are email services that also provide productivity tools for their users. Now, the main difference is that Gmail is a free email service that allows you to create a free Gmail email address. For example, I could create an email through Gmail like this, samspies at gmail.com, and your domain has to be Gmail. You cannot create a branded business email with Gmail, like info at samspies.com. However, in saying that, we put a video together which we'll link up above and pop in our description below that shows you how to add and connect a branded domain like sales at samspies.com for free with your Gmail account. Check that out after this video if you want to use Gmail for business for free. Now, on the other hand, G Suite is paid. However, it allows you to create multiple branded Gmail accounts like sales at samspies.com, info at samspies.com, or Stuart at samspies.com. You get the idea. <laughs> so you can create your own custom domain email accounts for your entire organization. So like I said, the main difference is that Gmail is free and has Gmail branding, whereas G Suite is paid and you can customize your email address and have as many as you like for your small or large teams. Now G Suite pricing starts from $6 per user per month to $25 per user for small businesses of say three to five users. So based on your requirements, if you went for the basic plan, you would be paying $6 times three or $6 times five for a team of five staff with five different email addresses. So essentially the basic plan is sufficient enough for small teams. Now, both the free Gmail and paid G Suite come with dozens of productivity and communication tools for small businesses and individual users. Both email services give users access to some of the most popular and powerful tools like Google Drive for cloud storage, Google Documents and Sheets for team collaboration on Word documents and Excel-like spreadsheets, Google Slides to create PowerPoints, Google Meet for video calling and meetings, and many, many others. However, the main difference is that Gmail gives you 15 gigabytes of account storage and G Suite's basic plan starts off at 30 gigabytes and up to unlimited storage for the business plan with G Suite. Now with G Suite you also have access to administrative power and you can control staff accounts and give and remove permission to applications and features within G Suite. However, with Gmail you cannot control other accounts, only the one Gmail account that you created. So what option is best for your small business? Well, this depends on the size of your business and the level of communication within your business. For example, small service-based businesses, they can get away with using Gmail and connecting your domain for free professional email sending and receiving. This is something we advise. However, I mentioned there was a tutorial we put together about this in the description and up above. 
So check this out if you want to create a professional business email through your free Gmail account. Or if you like, you can just use your free Gmail account as it is with a branded gmail.com at the end of your email address. So again, Gmail is sufficient for small businesses with one or two employees that deal with day-to-day -day emails and you're happy with Gmail branding, which is going to make your emails less professional. Unless you decide to set up your Gmail, like I mentioned in the video added up above and in our description. Now, on the other hand, we tend to always recommend a proper business email with G Suite because if you are serious about running your small business, then a small investment of $6 per user per month is worth it, especially for businesses of three to five plus employees that all require their own custom emails. So just to finish up, you can get started with Gmail and then purchase and upgrade your small business to G Suite when you are ready. So take the time to decide on sticking with the free Gmail or shifting over to G Suite to grow your business and further enhance communication and productivity. And there we have it team, that is it for this comparative video between Gmail and G Suite. You should now have a good idea of the differences between these two email service options for small business. Now if you have any questions about this video then make sure to leave them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below the video and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.